Hello, Year 9. Welcome back to your music lessons. This is Lesson 8, and this lesson is on multiple semitonal movement. Now, that sounds like quite a complex title, but if you look at each of the words individually, it's a lot more simple than we think. So, for example, semitonal, we know what a semitone is. Movement, we know what that word means. And then multiple, we know means many. So it's basically just moving a, more than one semitone at a time. And that's what we're looking into today, how to properly move more than one semitone and really practice that so we get good at it. But before we start the lesson, uh, as usual, if you're looking for any of the previous videos on these lessons, they can be found on YouTube. Uh, in the top box of this slide, I have put a link. If you copy and paste that, it will lead you to a YouTube playlist with all my videos on, and you can look through those and look at previous lessons, especially if you've not completed any previous lessons. Uh, please go do that, because having an understanding for previous lessons is required to effectively complete this lesson and lessons in the future. For today's lesson, the lesson objective, as said, is to understand how to move multiple semitones. So at the very least, day in the red box on the left, I'm able to identify the notes on the keyboard without a diagram. So we should be getting to a point now where we're starting to identify where notes are on a keyboard without having to look at a diagram all the time. I know it might take a bit more time to work it out, but you'll, that's, a, that's the only way to practice. If you keep relying on a diagram, you will not progress in understanding where the notes on the keyboard are. We know where C is, it's the left of the two black keys, so we can work out where all of the other notes are. Once you've done that, we move to the yellow box in the middle. I am able to understand the movement of multiple semitones. So we understand, we've looked into it a bit now. I want to show a proper understanding of it and really get to understand what it means. Once you're able to do that, the green box on the right, I am able to fully answer the task, showing my understanding of the keyboard and multiple semitonal movements. So if you're able to fully answer this task, you're able to show your understanding of the keyboard, where notes are on the keyboard, and also uh, how semitones move and how you can move multiple semitones. So for our task, multiple semitonal movement, just to reiterate once again, multiple semitonal movement is basically just moving more than one semitone. So for this task, from the notes below, I would like you to name the note highlighted on the piano. After this, name the note that is the given number of semitones away. And then question one is my example. So for the first bit, I would uh, name the notes highlighted on the piano. So the note that is highlighted on the piano of uh, question one is E, because it's to the right of the two black keys, because the left of the two black keys is C. So that means C, D, E. And then we need to work out what three semitones are away from E. So we can work it out there. We can see, let's get the piano up. We've got E. And then next to E would be F, so that's one semitone. Next to that would be F sharp, the black note, which would be uh, another semitone, so that's two semitones. And then a final semitone movement, which brings us to G. So three semitones away from E is G. So we've got E, and our three semitones away is G. So if you please complete that for questions two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, name the note on the piano, and then name the note that is a, the given number of semitones away. So for question two, what's the note on the piano, and what note is two semitones away from that? Take your time, make sure you really get it, get it correct. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, hope you're all well.